G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works. Today I'm at the National Collection, this is part three in a, in a multi-part series. Now I'm going to review the Australian natives in the collection and go through the collection. So if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you very much and thanks for liking my videos, it keeps the channel alive. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like the videos, it keeps the channel going and keeps me going. So let's have a look at some of these natives and other trees in the collection. This is a prickly paper bar by Scott Martin in Victoria. Now, it's on loan, yep, on loan from the artist. Now, lovely, love paper bark because look at the paper bark flick, flaking off. Can you see that? Flaking, flaking. Lovely tree. Coming back, nice foliage. <coughs> really nice tree. I like how the nice upward growth happening. Not, don't want too many sidewards. I like upward and then down, so it's on the right path. Nice tree. Nice start to the collection. Now here's a Grant Bowie coastal tea tree. Oh, I wish it was a bit too sunny to see this tree, but this pot must be Luke Parsons. It's immaculate. Such a good tree. Such a good pot. Now, oh, let me have a look at this tree. For me, nice trunks, multi trunks. And then coming out, it's not too bad. Then it gets a bit paddy for me and triangular, which I don't see coastal tea trees like this in nature. But it's nice. It's a bit triangle like. If it was a bit more fuller in the top and a bit more wider, I think I would enjoy it a bit more. But it's a lovely tray, don't get me wrong. But as I said, natives really need that Australian feel. Okay, not a triangular feel, but it's a lovely tree, don't get me wrong. Um, just wanted to highlight that yeah, beautiful bark, beautiful trunk, beautiful pot. Just would like a bit more fullness in the top to make it more native style, more full canopy. Here's a lovely bottle brush. By Derek Oakley in WA. Sadly, it did pass away very recently, 2013, 2023. I'm so sorry. Here, uh, 1977, this was started. And it's a nice tree to have in this collection. Let's examine the trunk. Now, look at this flakiness. Look, it's all parting away. Look at that. Some beautiful features in this tree. Walking backwards. Now, even though it's kind of triangular in form, it has the fullness in canopy, as you can see really full dense canopy i like that i like the roundness of the canopy a bit more fuller not too triangular although the, the shape is it's like a big triangle if that makes sense big triangular shape a very good um ode to um to derek all right we come to a banks here of course there's going to be banks in the collection the farrells this is saw banks here starting in 1990 now banks is it's all about what the trunk it's all about the trunk and look at this beast it's a beast it looks like a beast doesn't it, it looks like a monster it's some horror movies look at the gnarly nubs and whatever you call them unbelievable and then you've got the huge flowers on there it just looks like a monster which is which is really interesting it's a big monster kind of um banks which i love i think there's some really uniqueness in this these flowers are huge the foliage, yes, like I like the natural width of this tree. I think the flowers push it out of scale, maybe. Um, I wouldn't have them on there, but it is what it is. Um, but I love the natural wideness. It's very wide, which is really good for a native. I like the big, wide native look. It's so really nice. I really, really like this. Just remove those flowers and work on the, work on the beautiful foliage and branching. Now this is something really special, another Derek Oakley tree who passed away, as I said, in this year, earlier this year. Freshwater paper bark, raphophilia. Now we'll look at raphophilia. When I was in WA doing workshops with them, this was all they talked about. And I can see the beauty of them. Absolute amazing, amazing tree. Amazing native. Like, I love it. There's nothing, nothing I would say wrong about this. Nothing. It's just beautiful. That paper bark is old and white and maturing. This branch is kind of dying, which really looks natural. It's flaking off. Look, it's parted. Look, it's split. It's actually split the trunk. Just gorgeous. Like, so natural. Such a natural beauty. And then the top is really rounded off and full and just stunning. Absolutely stunning tree. Stunning. Beautiful ode to Derek. Great to have this in the collection. Here's another Banks here by Peter Hanrahan. I think this recently won the Centenary Prize, yes, in 2023. I can see why. 
it's huge huge base it doesn't have that gnarliness of the sawtooth the heath banks you might not have the the bubbles but it's got the nice look at the ribs on there i guess look at this i'll zoom in so you can see the ribbiness of it all and the big trunks and movement up the tree nothing below the horizontal which is good nice full canopy really good well done peter well deserved this wound is a bit yeah we'll get obviously obviously in time will be re reduced but see how the fullness looks better than a triangular i mean it's kind of triangular and in shape but not really and it's got that top like flat top which is actually really nice on this on um, natives so really nice here's another banksia coast banksia by the farrells again 1978 really nice big big banksia look at this base really gnarly and interesting i love the multiple trunks that have grown out of it and that were kept so it's not a single trunk love the width that's happening in this tree i'm just going to back back down back out a bit so you can see it um very full canopy apex probably needs a bit of work more get it more rounded rather than a bit pointy but stunning tree that base all about that base and that pot is just ginormous i don't even know where they get pots that big but really really awesome base look at the gnarly roots how they pop it's just a beautiful feature of the tree now maybe this branch could be gone so you can see the base i can't see the base if i pull back and that's one of the best features of the tree is that magnificent base so i'd love that branch gone so you can see the base so here i have a honey myrtle by hugh grant let me have a go back a bit the, the trunk is superb superb trunk and lovely pop lovely pop with that trunk looks stunning really really beautiful just the the foliage it just needs time i just need it needs more ramification more fuller canopy it's very sparse a little bit for me um, maybe that's how they grow i'm not 100 sure actually but i'd love that bit more the canopy would be better to really emphasize the beauty of that trunk and pot just a perfect match look at that nice gnarly gnarly trunk and looking good here's a stunning honey myrtle this is more what i expect from a myrtle the tiny tight foliage have a look at this really really amazing no look at this pot <laughs> such a cool pot having a look look back point beautiful movement look at the nice natural movement of these trees to create like a multiple apexes see how naturally moves up multiple apexes all the pads are going up like it's just beautiful movement upwards and pads upwards and pads look at this upwards and beautiful padding all around gorgeous by david willoughby from new south wales starting in 2003 must have collected it from somewhere that is very old let's have a look at this carol wheeler beautiful tree very nice full canopy Calistamin. oh no a luca bottle brush i thought it was a calistamin. there you go look at this twisty kind of trunk again stunning trunks on australian natives i think that's the beauty of them all with a more fuller foliage probably needs a bit more something i'm not sure maybe it's a bit needing a bit of a haircut up in that top of the half of the tree other than that amazing tree now look at this pot just love the pot but i don't know if it suits the tree i prefer the um that other kind of more more strain native kind of pot but very nice tree now i want to do my favorite few some of the natives here are probably winning my vote this year this is a gorgeous Snowbush by Chris. Look at this gorgeous tree. It just reminds me of something you'll find in the on the on the coast, and they're all dying. Like I see these walking around the coastal walk all the time. And look at this beautiful old dead wood into a tiny little tree. Absolutely love this little guy. It's just lovely. The little foliage is nice and light and patty. It's gorgeous. What a native. It's a really nice. Maybe these need to be used more often. Cape Snowbush. 
I can't even say it's on a scientific name, so I'm not going to even try. It's just too hard to say it for me. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous little tree. And again, another stunning snow bush. Oh, Chris, again, it is just gorgeous. And have a look at this. Look at the beautiful clouds of foliage, probably growing out of shape a little bit. But look at this. Look at that dead wood, natural dead wood on the tree. And then it's live wood. Look at the gnarliness of that live wood. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Like, I love it. Gosh, if I had a native, it would have to be the Cape Snowbush. I love it. Beautiful pads. Wow, probably, they're probably, you know, equal second. I have to show you which one I pick his first position, but I'm um, coming up to that. Obviously, you can't go past Ted Poynton's old Angofra. It's just stunning. It's a gorgeous tree, big old tree. Now, this base, you have no idea unless you see it in person. It's the size of my head or bigger. It's huge, massive, massive tree. I remember this tree when I first started Bonsai way back and it was in display at the Bonsai Northwest show back in 1980, 1998, I remember it. And it was just gorgeous. So it's really, really big. It's just big, beautiful gum tree. They call, everyone loves a gum tree, gum tree. But an Angophra, I call it. And well known in, in, in Victoria, especially because it came from Victoria with Ted growing it for many, many years. And he's still alive, Ted. He's doing well. He's, I think he's well into his 90s now, but I think they saw him at the show, one of the shows recently. So, beautiful old tree. This is a Kunzia. I was waiting to see if there was any Kunzias, and this is a lovely Kunzia. Well displayed. See a nice big tall stand with a cascade pot and dropping down to Kunzia. Nice foliage. It's all about the trunk on this. The dead wood, the live wood, going up to the top. Kunzia. Now I'm sorry I didn't get to video every single tree, but there's lots of others to look at, especially that, that that's a lovely box there as well, but I haven't videoed that, but I wanted to come to my favourite tree in the collection. I don't know, this woolly tea tree just gets me. I just love this tree. Will Fletcher, I think last year, last year I loved it too. Will Fletcher from Tassie, woolly tea tree started in 1991. Now the sun's kind of ruining the, the beauty of this tree, but let me have a let me have a look. Let me show you this flaky bark. Goes up, multiple trunks, just natural. Look, close look at that. Look at that, just flakiness of the bark. I love this. Love this bully tea tree. Then let me come back out. The foliage is absolutely tiny. Tiniest little foliage. There's my finger. Look at the small of it. Look at that small. I know I shouldn't touch, but I'm sorry. <laughs> and then it's styled so naturally. Like I see this tree in the Australian landscape. It's just stunning. I love the pads, the, the definition. Look at the slight definition of all the little pads. Look at the flowers that are popping. Can you see the flowers just there? They're just starting. I'm just trying to zoom on on that one. The flowers are starting to pop. It's just going to be absolute gorgeous tree in, in a, when those flowers pop as well. But I like it as it is. I like the space in between the branching. Look at the look at the bark just flaking off. Look, it's just hanging on. Just just gorgeous. What can I say? Not a, a naturally beautiful Australian native, naturally styled. That's how I like to see natives. Definitely like a Quentin Valentine trees, which I adore. Like he, he knows what he's doing, and this tree is on that level. So it's just beautiful well done to who's maintaining this well done to will fletcher massive fan of this tree and it's australian native which i don't have one in my collection but i'll take this one any day <laughs> if anyone's got one of these i'll have it but it is gorgeous and i hope you guys appreciate why i think this is the best it's a nice sized tree too you know it's probably a good meter tall from pot to the tip of the tree do you, do you, I don't know, do you all see it? I hope you guys see why I love this the most. The naturalness, the beauty of it. Especially in Australia, you know what I'm saying when you see these out in nature and growing like this. A big old tree in the middle of somewhere looks like this. All right, guys, so that completes my three-part series on the collection and reviewing each tree. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some tips from what I've talked about. Please don't take 
if I said anything negative, it wasn't ne taken in a negative, it's more just opinions. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed my walk around and review of the trees. And see, see you next time for more videos.